All right, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to cover the update uh, from the 7th of August, update number, who cares? Um, there's some confusion and first of all, I will tell you what this is about. It's about this particular part here. Um, now when you J out, um, another player will be credited with a kill. Um, I think it's within a yeah five kilometer radius, and he does not even have to do damage to you. So let's have a look in the game how this will affect our games and what does that mean. All right, and what we are going to see is I did just a quick testing of this new mechanic in RB Air Battles. I tested if there is a difference between Jing out and uh, leaving the aircraft via the menu with the leave aircraft button. I did some testing for enduring confrontation and spoiler, it's absolutely fucked up. And also I will cover the tankers. So if you're a tanker and you are aware um, about your uh, tank gameplay, if this affects you in any way, I will have you covered too. So stay tuned. And let's have a look at this. All right, um, there's our bad guy. Now he's within five kilometers. I hit the J button. And as you can see, he's credited with the kill. I did second game. Used leave. And again nearest enemy will get the kill. Congrats to you, Mr. Doe. Alright, and then I tested if this also affects crashing. And, as you see, nobody is credited with the kill if you crash. And here we are in Enduring Confrontation. As you can see, I did an EC6 because I knew when I am on the runway it won't la uh, take that long. Have a look here, I J out, and you see that the IL-28 that has just been flying over our airfield has been credited with the kill. In addition to this, you see there's a, there's the skull, and that means this counted just as a death for me. And yeah, that is that is not not good. I don't have words for this actually, because this is so weird in enduring confrontation you have to change the plane regu regularly to get into another plane so and if an enemy is pretty close to your airfield this just simply means that he will get credited with a kill and you will get a loss for this one but nobody did shoot you it, it, you just want to change the plane and here we have a typical scenario of ec6 <laughs> I did not J out at this point. Uh, I just missed the. Uh, I was uh, no, I was too slow. I wanted to test the leave um, aircraft button at the menu, and in a second you will see what happens there. It's just the same. So I saw that there is another enemy nearby, so I have gone to the menu and you can see down there in the battle log that I have now my third death and this is Gaijin, this is not acceptable. <laughs> this is it just shows that you try to do one solution for everything and it does not work out one more time. Alright and yes with this in mind please let me know in the comments what you think about this feature. Do you think it helps? Um, I think it will be here. Yeah. We will have to take the mode into account. Maybe in RB air battles it's um, probably good because there are sometimes bombers who just fly away and when as soon as a fighter comes nearby they just J out and you I don't know, as the fighter, you chase that guy and uh, he's just jaying out, denying you the kill. It's a waste of time. I 
do see why this is good there. But as we see in Enduring Confrontation, this is absolutely shit. So, and as I promised, here we have a look at the tankers. There you see me, just driving to the front, checking out and have a look at the fill feed. You see it's just me exploding and nobody else will get a kill. So as it's written in the description of this feature um, on the website, it, this just affects aircraft. So all you fast cappers, don't worry, <laughs> you can do your thing without affecting anybody. All right. Okay, so here we are. I think we have everything covered right now. Um, one more time, I ask you to put into the comments what you think about this feature. Um, especially, I'm interested in what my friends from the simulator battles, the EC battles, think about this. Um, I do think that we need a proper bug report on this as soon as possible. And I hope that Gaijin will revisit this feature in the very near future. So, and if you don't want to miss out my next videos one more time, um, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn the notifications on always. And this is it for today. I wish you the very best. See you next time.